May is a very busy month for New England growers. Come on. Charlie Reed and his crew put in 750 tomato plants in his Barrington field this morning. He's been an organic farmer for 50 years. Every plant hand started by seed in the winter and hand planted in spring. As soon as you sprout that seed, mm -hmm. you want it to grow, 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 get it out in the fields, grow, grow, grow. No stopping, no hesitation. That's the secret of farming, timing. But timing has been a bit off this season. People forget about it, but not too long ago, we had two big snowstorms, then we had some rain. So that keeps the soil cold. If the soil is cold, nothing's going to grow. Germination so poor on his radishes, he's planted them twice already and found himself hauling out the hoses more than usual this time of year. The normal amount of rain we get in May in New Hampshire is 3.4 inches. So far as the month wraps up, though, we've only had one inch of rain. Instead of continuing to plant, you've got to get out and get your water going. So that's taken the farmers back a little bit because they got to get their irrigation going. Customers of the Barker farm in Stratum are anxiously awaiting the first big strawberry crop of the season, usually ready to pick by Father's Day. It's been a little on the cool side, so things are a little bit uh, sluggish, but it's um, overall, it hasn't been a bad s start. In fact, Edie Barker says really hot, wet weather would be worse for young plants. You know, every time you think things are going to be behind, all of a sudden we had this incredible warm weather and everything catches up, so you just can't predict. In addition to timing, it seems patience pays off on the farm. In Stratum, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.